Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, uh, dear students. I hope you are enjoying at home. Uh, today we will learn about the class fish of plants. I will go through a PowerPoint presentation and first we will go about the general class fish of the living organism and then we will take the kingdom plantae and further classify it into other groups. Uh, let's watch the PowerPoint presentation. As we have already studied that living organisms have been divided into five kingdoms which include kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Plantea, kingdom Fungi and kingdom Animalia. This classification of living organism into five kingdoms was given by American scientist W. H. Wartiker in 1969. There are the three basic criteria for this classification. Uh, the first class, the first criteria is the complexity of the cell. That means whether the cell is prokaryotic or eukaryotic based on the presence of nucleus within the cell. The prokaryotes lack nucleus, whereas the eukaryotes have a membrane-bound nucleus. Based on this criteria, prokaryotes are placed into kingdom Monera, and then the eukaryotes are left out. The eukaryotes are further classified in uh, based on the second criteria. The second criteria is the complexity of the uh, organism, which means whether the cell organism is a unicellular or simple or multicellular complex. Based on this criteria, the organism which are unicellular and eukaryotic are placed in the kingdom Protista. Thus, the kingdom Protista belongs to the unicellular eukaryotes. Multicellular eukaryotes are left out. Multicellular eukaryotes are further classified based on the third criteria. The third criteria is the mode of nutrition of the organism. If the multicellular organism is autotrophic, meaning the organism produces their own food through the process of photosynthesis, it is, called, it is placed in the kingdom Plantae. Therefore, the kingdom Plantae contains organisms which are eukaryotic, multicellular and photosynthetic. With the help of photosynthesis, they produce food for themselves as well as for the other organism. So their major ecological role is the producers of the food. If eukaryotic organisms have absorptive heterotropic mode of nutrition, uh, which uh, that mode of nutrition is al also called as saprophytic nutrition. In saprophytic nutrition, the organism secretes the digestive enzymes outside the body. The enzymes digest the organic matter or food and then the digested food are absorbed back into the body. These kinds of organism which shows this type of absorptive nutrition or absorptive heterotrophism, they are placed in the kingdom fungi. They are the the ecological, the major ecological role of the uh, kingdom fungi is the decomposers of the organic matter. So, if the multicellular organism has ingestive type of heterotrophic nutrition, this ingestive type of heterotrophic nutrition is also called as holozoic nutrition. Here, the organism ingests the food and carries the digestion within the body. So, the digestion is interior inside the body this is intrinsic digestion such organisms are placed in the kingdom animalia animals are the major consumers of food in the ecology of the living organisms the five kingdom classification also tells about the basic characteristics of the plant the unique characteristics of the plant that distinguish them from other living organisms arise at the cellular level two important features make plant cell different from the animal cell. The two features are the presence of cell wall outside the plasma membrane of the cell and second is the presence of chloroplast within the cell. Due to the presence of cell wall, the plant cell is rigid, hard and that is why plants usually lack locomotion. And due to the presence of uh, Chloroplast, the plants can manufacture their own food through the process of photosynthesis. That is why plants are called autotrophs. Auto means self and troph means manufacturing or synthesis. There is exception to autotrophic nutrition in plant. Some plants like Venus flytrap and bladder wort, wort are insectivorous and some plant like cascuta is parasitic on the other plants. 
due to the ability of plants to manufacture their own food they are the primary producers of the food on earth all other living organisms depend on the plants for their food plants usually uh, store food as starch within the cells do you know how animals and fungi store their food in the cells yes they store food in the form of glycogen and fat now let's see how plant kingdom is classified the plant kingdom is divided into two sub kingdoms uh, namely cryptogamy and phanerogamy crypto means hidden and gamy means reproductive parts so cryptogamy are the plants which have hidden reproductive parts the reproductive parts in the plants are uh, flower fruit and seed the phanerogamy phanero means visible and gamy means reproductive part the phanerogams are the plants which have visible reproductive parts like they have the fruit flower and seed the cryptogamy is further divided into three divisions including thallophyta which includes alga bryophyta which includes mosses and warts and pteridophyta which includes ferns and horse horsetails on the other hand the phanerogamy has only one division that is called that is known as spermatophyta sperma means seed and phyta means plant so the spermatophyta is the division of plant containing seed bearing plants spermatophyta means seed bearing plants spermatophyta is further divided into two subdivisions called gymnospermy and angiospermy they are commonly known as gymnosperms and angiosperms gymno means naked and angio means covered so in gymnosperm the seed is naked and is not covered within the food fruit these the example of the gymnosperms are the pines deodor christmas tree they they have naked seed the seed is not covered within the fruit while as in the angiosperms the seed is covered within the fruit angiosperms are also called as flowering plants because only the the plants which have the fruit bear the flowers so the angiosperms are the fruit flower bearing plants angiosperms are further classified into monocots and dicots monocotyledony and dicotyledony examples of monocots are maize rice and wheat and the examples of the dicot plants are pulses peas apple and mango now let's see how this system of classification of the plants is arrived at there is a set of rules or criteria for the classification of the plant if we take a plant for the classification the first criteria we look for is whether the plant body is differentiated into root stem or leaves if the plant body is not differentiated into the different body parts then we place the plant in group thallophyta thallus means not differentiated thus thallophyta are the plants which do not have stem leaves and root on the other hand if the plant body is differentiated into root shoot and leaves then the second criteria is applied the second criteria is applied the second criteria is the presence or absence of vascular tissue vascular tissue is the xylem and phloem which transports the food and water respectively if the xylem and phloem is absent then the plant is placed in the bryophyta if the vascular tissue is present such plants are called trichophyta they are further classified based on the third criteria a third criteria at the third level we look for the presence or absence of seed if seed is absent then we put the plant in the division pteridophyta if seed is present 
then we apply the fourth criteria for the classification of the plant. At the fourth level, we look for the presence or absence of fruit and flower. If the fruit and flower is absent, then obviously the seed will be naked. We put the plant in the subdivision gymnosperm. And if fruit and flower is present, then obviously the seed will be inside the fruit. And we put the fruit, we put the plant in the subdivision angiosperm. Angiosperms are also called flowering plants. Angiosperms are further classified into monocots or dicots based on the fifth criteria. If the seed has one cotyledon, then the plant is monocot like rice, maize, wheat. And if the seed has two cotyledons, then the plant is dicot. For example, pulses, pea, apple, mango. They all have two cotyledons in their seed. You need to remember five group of plants displayed here for further studies in the upcoming classes. The five group include thallophytes, bryophytes, pteridophytes, angiosperms and gymnosperms. The presence or absence of vascular tissue in the plant determines the environment where the plant can live. For example, thallophytes, they have undifferentiated body and they lack the vascular tissue xylem and phloem so they that is why they are mainly aquatic on the other hand the bryophytes have some sort of differentiation they have root like structures they have stem like structures and then they have leaf like structure and but they lack the vascular tissue due to the absence of vascular tissue they cannot thrive they cannot transport water and food to the great distance therefore they need to live in the moist and swampy areas for that reason, they are called amphibians of the plant kingdom. The pteridophytes, angiosperms and gymnosperms have a true root system and have vascular trans tissue for the transport of food and water. For that reason, they are able to thrive on the land. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.